Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Assassination Classroom Season 2, Episode 8, and last episode, The Reaper made his appearance, and apparently, B Sensei joined up with him, they lure the kids, capture them so that they can lure Kurosawa and say there as well, and Kurosawa he was dressed up as a dog, and I'm like, okay, this dude, man, oh my goodness. So, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have a reaction, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and please consider supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash follow me. And now, let's start this episode, and here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself, so you can just click on it, watch it, and then just come back for my review. It's taken off. Oh, okay. Wait a second. What is she trying to do? I love that I'm forced to push through an anime because of um since I'm started reacting to something usually when I start reacting to something I don't wanna quit, you know, throughout I have feel like I have to finish it just because because when I started watching this Assassin's Cluster on my own, like at one time it was a long time ago, I started watching it because I heard how popular it was and when I started watching it I'm like, eh, uh, I don't really care about this. So I stopped watching, but because I'm reacting to it, I feel like it made me, it forced me to actually appreciate it. <laughs> then I did. Like, had I not watched it, watched it, I wouldn't have fallen in love with my boy. <sighs> like, there were so many characters in here that I love, so it's like, yeah, I'm glad I watched it. Reaper time part two. Is there gonna be a part three or is this is gonna be there? Yeah, I think like she's ugh. He He's not alive anymore though, isn't he? Irina? Was he Irina? Yep. He can see them? Like, because he's moving them so fast, he shouldn't be able to see it? Huh? It's gonna be something disgusting. Really? <sighs> They're probably okay with it. He didn't want to commit to an answer. Uh huh. Of course, he's not going to let it. I know, it's so cool. Man, I love this anime. Even those pros didn't want to kill kids. Huh? Oh, man, I was talking and I missed what he was trying to say. Let's see if you're going to be able to do it. Oh, you are so cool. (sighs) 
You didn't throw him down? Oh, there's a lot of them. I thought it was just the one, but I guess not. Did she miss on purpose? Sure, she understands. Karma Akabane. Karma Akabane. My boy. The guy's about to drop in a lot of water on y'all. She's only 21. Oh, I love it all. Hmm. How old was she then? What's what? They're not there! Uh, or did they mess with the cameras in there or something? Ooh, they took it out! Yes. They come flashing with their clothes or whatnot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the peeping <pee> squad. <laughs> really? That is so much. You are ripped. Really? A nosebleed? <laughs> Okay. Suplex! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought it was concrete. The heck? The hell? They better not kick out of summer. <laughs> and something told me.
Don't look at the flower. Do not scare me like that. <sighs> oh, I just call it. <sighs> One punch. <laughs> One punch, man. Huh? I did about to hire him at the office. Boys over flowers! Oh, such a great anime and drama. Wait, did I have to see the drama to the end? Man, you are so hot. <laughs> Girl. Thank you. Hi. Adios. What is that? I don't know, for some reason this ending song reminds me of a song in a drama. Usually a Korean drama. Even though it's in Japanese. Whatever. Should have stopped it. Uh, whatever. People, they scared me. That moment in the episode when the Reaper threw the flower up there, and I'm like, that distraction. Because he did the same thing in the previous episode, and then he disappeared in front of the students or whatever. So I'm like, please don't look at it. Please don't look at it. And then he like shot through the heart. You see, it was a small hole. But you know it was gonna do damage. And him being the Reaper, I'm like, is this gonna kill? They better not kill Karasuma because I just finished saying how awesome he was and all that. Please do not kill him. And he did not die because Koro Sensei was using his tentacles or oh, fake blood and all, oh, whatever. I'm like, oh, thank you. Because if he died, people. Uh, I don't know. If I would have been able to continue, <laughs> I just finished saying how I was glad that I'm that I'm made to react to this, and that it pushes me to finish the anime and whatnot. And now I'm saying that if they were to kill Kurosawa and say that, I would have stopped. <laughs> well, that didn't happen. So yeah, um, the report turned out to be not that. Stuff, I guess I don't know the way they hyped him up you know in that first of all is Loro actually dead because he mentioned in this episode that I let him live so that he can do something or other or whatnot so is he actually alive or is he dead 
so they showed him in that episode and you see him look like he killed um Loro and then he casually walked into the classroom and he was able to turn Irina Sese against the students and Wana was able to capture the students. Um uh, Kuro Sensei came and you know he was captured almost immediately. So it's like they made him up to be such a big deal. Excuse me. And then Karasuma just like ah, that moment when um um he told told them the plan about letting the water in and that you know he was gonna basically drown the students along with Kuro Sensei and he asked Karasuma about what the government's policy was on letting the kids die or something or other and then they threw the flashback of Karasuma addressing that possibility with his supervisor I guess and the guy escorted he didn't answer he put the blame on Karasuma like you deal with it you decide in the moment and I'm like Karasuma's not gonna let these kids die man and yeah he did not but I think I, I got worried a little bit like there was a part of me a little bit that was like you know they're saying that uh, Kuro Sensei was gonna destroy the world and that uh, you know if this plan was so perfect that he could kill Kuro Sensei and they have to sacrifice the kids is he gonna prioritize the safety of the world over the kids you know so a part of me was a little bit worried but then a bigger part of me was like he, he's not gonna let them die and yeah he didn't let them die so yeah he started attacking him and um the guy fled Karasuma went after him and then he was laying these traps behind this door and told Irina to shoot Karasuma as he was fiddling with the the traps and stuff. That first shot, I want to say she missed at first right and then she's not she said she's not gonna miss the second time around and i feel like like i want to say <laughs> that karasuma just felt her presence or something rather and dodged the attack because that makes karasuma even cooler but then again I don't know how Irina will miss that shot. Like, Karasuma was not looking at you. So, if you're actually trying to shoot him, he shouldn't have missed. So, I'm thinking, okay, did she miss on purpose? You know, because she doesn't actually want to kill Karasuma. I, I don't know which way it was. Whether she missed on purpose or whether Karasuma actually dodged yeah i don't know and then the guy kept telling it is irina and karasuma that him and uh irina were born out of the same circumstances or something or other and there was a point in the episode was while he was talking about that there was a look in his eyes that was sort of like dark ish looking i don't know but me seeing that in the back of my mind i'm like this guy clearly does whatever it is that he he will do to kill his target he was he wanted to um he was willing to sacrifice the students for that he um i don't know but something just told me that he him saying that was just to get her on his side so that he can you know actually kill kuro sensei and then when he blew up the the 
whatever he blew up in the debris were falling on both of them i'm like yeah that did not surprise me that he turned on her as well because it feels like this guy has no conscience at all at least to the other pros that we've met you know during that episode with the, the grip guy those three assassins they had a code you know uh, when they gave the poison to the kids it wasn't really gonna kill them you know there was they they didn't want to kill the kids but this guy has no such qualms he has no such conscience so when he revealed that he's you know he was just telling her a lie and um that he's just saw this person kill his father and the way the guy killed the father was so cool to him that he decided to become an assassin as well in what in all that so i'm like yeah this guy you cannot and then while they were fighting oh, 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 irina was playing him right he's like she's like okay um like she's she's okay with him you know, betraying her because that's the part of the world that they were both brought up in and something or other. And then Karasuma just showed up behind him. I'm like, oh, he's about to suplex him. And then I just thought there was concrete over here. So he was going to suplex him onto the concrete floor. But then he started dropping from up. Then I'm like, wait, is that concrete on the floor over there? Like all the way down there? And I'm like, no, they can't kill Karasuma like that. So I'm thinking, okay, is Kuro Sensei going to come in and, you know, save Karasuma? But no, that didn't happen either. It was like water. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. And then they started fighting inside the water. No, wait, well, no, his face fell off. I'm like, what the heck is this? And he's like, he, he carved off his face. Is that something that you do? Like in real life? I don't know, is that something that you can... Like, carve your face off? Is that something that you can do in real life? Because I feel like I only see this, this stuff in animes or in movies or something or other. Like, it's not gonna be possible to actually... I don't know, maybe it's possible because it's only like your skin. I don't know, but it just was just weird. So it's like he's gonna kill Karasuma and then take his face and uh. And yeah, it didn't work out. He shot the thing and then got, you know, Skurosa says fake blood thing and then tomato juice, I think that's what he said. Tomato juice. And Karasuma took him out with one punch. I'm like, yay! Karasuma was so hot. Like when he took off his jacket. Uh, Irina was under the debris, right? And he was about to go after um, the paper. And who was it that was asking him to save her? One of the students. I just don't remember who it was. And that the student was, she was 15, but then she mentioned the fact that Irina's sister was already 21 years old. I'm like, huh? For some reason, I thought she was older. But she was only 21 and uh, living in the world that she's she's lived in. She's probably hasn't learned how to be like a grown-up or something. I don't know. Basically begging Karasuma to not let her die. And yeah, he helped her. And that's how he turned around also to help him. And so that Karasuma can sneak up on him into the suplex thing. So yeah. And then... It didn't, it didn't, it didn't. The Reaper was like about to check in on the students over there. He's like, huh? Where are they? He's like, okay, I'm gonna detonate them. And it's like, they took it off. They took those bandages off. Bandages. <laughs> they took the bomb off. Because uh, Ituna figured that the way the thing was set up, if they took, take it off, it's not gonna explode or whatnot. So they took it off, man. And then they had to camouflage. Like, they were like sitting on top of it each other in a particular section of the where they were where the camera wasn't looking at them and you know with the camouflage clothing and whatnot i mean it was awesome like, it was awesome the fact that reaper couldn't see them like that i think he panicked and that's why they were able to capture him 
So yeah. And then after that, course is like I don't want to see my students be put in this situation anymore. Because the government, yes, they've asked these students to go through this training or whatever so that they can keep course and say. But they've also been hiring pro assassins from outside and because this was also another hire and that led to the kids being in danger and almost dying so they went there and they're like okay no we can be put in these situations like that anymore and they presented this um paper or whatever to uh, a request of students of e class yeah, that if anything happens to the student, the bounty will not be paid. So, yeah, that, that, that that's a weird thing. And then they're like, okay, they've decided not to go with outside, you know, pros anymore. And that there's this final assassination plan thing that they were operation that they were going to do. I'm like, oh, okay, what, 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 what would that be? I don't know. Guess we'll see. Squirrel is still going to die in this anime. Is he actually gonna destroy the earth? I'm still not clear on that. I know they've been saying that he's gonna destroy the earth, but I'm like, I just don't see him as a villain. With how much time we've spent with them and how much he cares about the kids and all that, I don't see him as a villain. I feel like if he's gonna destroy the earth, it's gonna be some kind of involuntary situation. Like It's not something that he wants to do. That's gonna be forced to do or something like that. I don't know, but yeah. I love this episode, loved it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, if you want to see my reaction to the next episode, episode 10, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash filamini. And you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>